Under design options we have like small changes. On the left side you can see the Revit 2021, on the left side on the right side you can see 2020. So as you can see here it doesn't change anything, but one small changes we also have. Let's create for example the new design options. I will create create new design options and I will rename it. Let's say it will be number one. As you can see now it's here. Let's create design options here and let's say this is will be number one. And as you can see it's still going and you cannot sort it. So the difference is now the design options in 2021 able to sort it automatically and this is most easiest to you. For example if you will create for example a uh, design, new design option and the name will be for example like, like this new one and this is will be first one and if you will create here the option and you will rename it like same one new one it still will going it still will going uh, still continue creating these columns so by this way this is more easily control your design options One more small changes you will find under the filters. If you will open up the filter list in new version, you will find here infrastructure. But in the previous version, you not will find it. Let's, for example, uh, switch it on only infrastructure and let's see what we have inside infrastructure. As you can see, here we have like bridges, cables, mass forms, structure framing, rebar. So this is all categories what able to the, create the infrastructure. So the new Revit it's now more working with the infraworks than was before. Here one more interesting thing. For example, you have like uh, your view. You are going to visibility graphics. Here is 2020, and you have the filters. So to uncheck this filter, you have like a few ways. You just should delete it. You just remove it. And only after that, this filter now no working no more on this view. In new version, you no need to do that. You just going to the filter and just enable it. And now as you can see, it's not working, but it's still there. You can any anytime back and just switch it on. But this making in trouble in previous version because you should go into the filter, you should add it again and you should find the filter what you want to need. Here is only three, it's okay, but once you have like hundreds, it's making the trouble because you not understand which the filters you should use. You should check it again, you should add it again and you should manipulate with that again. So this is making trouble. So as you can see, and oh, again, of course, you should now uh, making some changes here to, for example, it's not working because it's not a pattern. Uh, you should again add the pattern. You should add it. Uh, you should say OK, OK, and only after that it will be working. But in previous version, you no need to do that. You just enable it or enable it if you need it. So just a few seconds and you can working without any problem. Now one more interesting thing in the right side, as I, as I said, it's 2020, in the left side 2021. As you can see, it doesn't have any difference, difference only how the RH uh, showing on the for 2020 and 2021 um, doesn't doesn't any changes as you can see here is the bring back bring, bring front and here is two so nothing changes but the changes is inside the manage as you can see here is manage images here the manage the links so this is a different so let's go to the images and you will see the PDF now under the images. But PDF it's not images, PDF it's the uh, real, the file which you can use and which you can work. So, but here it's under the images. If you will go in the new one version, image to links, you will find it here under the new top. You can reload it, you can show it ways that, you can even, for example, let's remove it uh, or let's reload it, for example, it takes the time, 
it's updating for example someone updating your pdf file or your client saying your new pdf file or someone else you just can reload it if it's the same name so you can select it even you can reload it from so it means a replace you can choose another file you can say okay and after that revit will ask which the resolution you want to use or which the page you want to load inside to the revit so as you can see this is making really really nice things you can even make your the pdf file you can place it like an instance for example you can place it another place like that and you can copy it again so as you can see we get two same files and only one link so you not will uh, making your project like a garbage so you can just uh, place it as much as you want Here another great thing, for example you want to create your annotation by section. You are placing your section and let's place it in new version 2 and in one day you want to rotate it because your building it's not always the 90 degree so it's all sometimes having, having like this angle. But your text still it's the horizontal one so you have a lot of ways how you can create in family uh, rotation but it always will be not best way because now you are able to rotate it with your line as you can see now it's starting to rotating with your line and inside the family you are able to switch it on or switch it off this option how you can do that you just should go for example to the your project browser you should find your the m grid head cycle so let's find the ways this section aha uh -huh, this one m and right click edit you will going inside to this project after that you need just the properties and you will find here the small just checkbox button rotate text with the component if you will uncheck it and if i will load it inside again to the my project it will be same less like it was before in previous version if you will go back and you will check it on let's load it up again let's overwrite and as you can see now it's following up your component And now one of the best changes in the Revit, but actually I should say I don't believe uh, like you can render anything in Revit because Revit is not about the renders, Revit is about the drawings and BM model. So by my opinion we don't need any render system in Revit, but it's only my opinion. What you think leave under the comments and we will check it out. So uh, anyway, after desk now update uh, the render engine in uh, Revit and as you can see the same uh, now same the graphic display option we are using the realistic here and realistic here but as you can see this is two different result. So anyway this is sketchy and it looks like really better right now and it looks like more like a sketch up with some simple render engine but here it's always was darkened i remember that and as you can see this is not the best so uh, i not will spoke about the render because the, the render it's not my part for that one we have the uh, rt 3d artists and they really better working with that thing and they can say something more than i can say for my opinion yeah we get the really nice renders right now but uh, as i said before this is not the uh, most important thing in Revit at all. 